The sequel to one of the best couch co-op games in recent memory follows a familiar loop. Chop food, cook food, served finished dishes to the invaders of Onion Kingdom. While Overcooked 2 retains the pick-up-and-play mantra by not dramatically changing things up, there are more interesting variables now. Wildly inventive kitchens, varied recipes, and online functionality make this a ridiculously entertaining party game and a challenging extension of the original. One of Overcooked 2's biggest overhauls is the throw button. It's truly a game changer. Raw food, cut or uncut, can be thrown directly into burners, cutting boards, or into the hands of teammates, and that removes some of the tedious back and forth of the first game. Throwing adds a welcome layer of strategy that quickly becomes an invaluable technique to shave off time and complete more orders. Throwing also makes solo play much better. Like the original, solo players must switch back and forth between two chefs, assigning tasks like cutting meat and veggies while freely moving around with the other chef. While it's just as clumsy as before, throwing eliminates some of the idle time, making it feel a bit closer to the experience of playing co-op. The throw button doesn't necessarily make the cooking process easier, though. Overcooked 2's kitchens have many more moving parts, which would render some of the layouts virtually impossible to navigate without throwing, and even with it, it's a challenge. The wide range of kitchen settings include hot air balloons, space, whitewater rafting, a wizard school, and more. The designs are downright silly, with constant shifting platforms, wandering countertops, random fires, button-operated conveyor belts, and portions of the map that disappear before your eyes. Unexpected twists and turns are what make Overcooked so fun, so it's awesome to see that concept expanded upon in interesting ways. It helps Overcooked 2 maintain that unpredictability, even for those of us who consider ourselves proficient chefs. Some of the trickier elements are the moving walkways that alternate between pushing you in the opposite direction and pulling you forward. Some of these are even precariously suspended across gaps in kitchens, which makes each journey to the other side all the more nerve-wracking. Magic portals can transport you or ingredients to different parts of the kitchen that are inaccessible by foot. Joystick-operated platforms need to be carefully maneuvered to grab ingredients, reach cutting boards, and cook your food. What's great about the new additions is that they really test your movement skills in a way that makes some of the levels feel like a platforming game. Overcooked 2 features an expanded menu, including a few items that are new to the sequel. In certain levels, there's an additional step between chopping and cooking, mixing. A number of recipes, such as pancakes and steamed veggies, must first be combined with other ingredients in a mixer. Then, you have to place mixed ingredients into either a pan, oven, or the new wooden steamer. Contending with the additional equipment and extra steps only heightens the endless discombobulating charm. Like its predecessor, Overcooked 2's 40-plus stages can be completed with up to four chefs. The zany kitchen designs make cohesive teamwork even more essential, but the balance between strategy and pandemonium still feels best with two chefs. After feeding the new zombie bread threat, appropriately named Unbread, Versus Mode offers up a fresh competitive challenge that benefits greatly from the dynamic kitchen designs. While Overcooked 2 still feels right at home as a couch co-op experience, all modes can be played online with friends, and matchmaking is available for Arcade and Versus. A word of warning, the Switch version does not have voice chat. Instead, you have to use a rudimentary emote system to tell other chefs what you're doing. This puts you at a big disadvantage in a game that requires good communication to succeed. Overcooked 2 serves up a great balance of hilarious chaos and strategy and makes meaningful improvements over its predecessor. The kitchens are littered with exciting hazards, the recipes are highly varied, and the ability to throw ingredients fundamentally changes the arcade cooking formula. It's still best to play on the couch with friends, but solo play has been made much more enjoyable and online support adds versatility. For more on Overcooked, check out the first 17 minutes of Overcooked 2 and our extended Let's Play. Plus, watch our review of Overcooked Special Edition. And for everything else, stick with IGN.